Imagine you're driving a car at 100 kilometers per hour and suddenly, boom, the airbags out of the blue explodes in your face, causing you life-threatening injuries. Now, this is the potential of a cyber attack. Hi, my name is Rushil Ray. Today, Vector Consulting Services will show you how we perform our grey box penetration test in our labs to prevent such a cyber attack. There are many security testing techniques, as you can see, code quality analysis, fuzzing, side channel analysis, and also penetration test. There is no one silver bullet which will capture all the vulnerabilities and make your product 100% secure. So we employ a cascade of these techniques, but today let's focus on penetration test. Penetration test is of three types, the white, black, and gray, depending upon the knowledge of the system that is known to the tester. So in white, all the information is known to the tester. In black, they rely on the publicly available information. And the gray is in between. Here we have partial amount of information of the system through probably Tara or other documents, high level architecture schematics, etc. And is proven to be more intelligent and intuitive. Let us see how. Here is our 10 steps of a gray box pen test. And let's look at it step by step. Hi Pratibha, so how do you really start the pen test? We must always start with the end in mind. That means to understand what the goal of a hacker. To know what can go wrong, we must first gather all possible information about the subject under test. So initially we need reconnaissance. In other words, information gathering to collect device specific information. What are the different sources that you refer to to find out more about your system under test? We have active and passive reconnaissance. In active, we get an information with the direct interaction with the target. For instance, port scanning or hardware like microcontroller and exploring it. In passive, we get an information without an interaction with the target. Here, we can use CVE database, online brochures, device specific documents like hardware software specifications and the target attack histories. Once we understand the scope and the content, then we can start the analysis step. Next is to make a structural analysis of an underlying architecture. Why do we do that? To know the components and networking helps us to understand more about the different assets that needs to be protected and its attack pathways. We then create a lightweight Tara which is used to understand the threats and this acts like an input to derive the penetration test cases. Do you get this Tara from the client like OEM or Tier 1 or do you make this lightweight Tara by yourself? Mostly, we do not get the Tara. Hence, we perform a lightweight Tara based on the document what we have so far. Thank you Pratibha for shedding some light on these initial steps. Now let's look at the next few steps like fuzzing. Hi Florian, what can you tell us about fuzz testing? Fuzz testing is an automated network testing method where a huge amount of random and pseudo-random data is provided to the device under test. It is often used as a first step of penetration testing. In fuzz testing, we differentiate between two main methods. Both are supported by VTest Studio. On the one hand, we have frame fuzzing, where we test the implemented communication stack and the tested protocol. On the other hand, we have signal fuzzing, where we test the application that evaluates the received signal. Fuzz testing can be conducted for a broad range of communication protocols, for example, CAN, Ethernet, or PLC for smart charging, but also for XCP and UDS. Fuzz testing identifies weaknesses that are not identified by other testing techniques like functional testing. Thank you, Florian, for sharing your valuable inputs on fuzzing. Now let's look at penetration test. Hi, Jerome. Can you help us understand what is pen test and how do we perform it in our labs? So, pen test is a powerful test strategy where an authorized tester tries to recreate a cyber attack on the system. Uh, by doing this, we try to evaluate if there are any vulnerabilities that we can exploit and hence evaluating the security of the system. In general, the approach we follow for pen test consists of four stages. The first two stages are the interface and network discovery. Since we follow gray box pen test, here we save valuable amount of time since the critical network and interface 
are known to the tester. So here we only find the physical difficulty in accessing those interfaces. The third stage is the network penetration test. Here we consider the results of fuzzing and also network related asserts from Tara and craft targeted network based attacks using the tools like uh, CanoE which can help us in doing the rest bus simulation. The fourth stage is the software penetration test. Here we use different tools to evaluate the security controls that are implemented to protect the assets. Like circumventing the diagnostic access restrictions, JTAG based flash tests and memory dump analysis as shown here using BINWOC. So there is no end to pen test. So it's very important to plan the test cases and list the important asserts that needs to be validated and have a targeted and structured approach like our gray box pen test. Thank you, Jerome, for sharing your key insights on penetration test. Do visit our website to find out more about our complete security portfolio, ranging from TARA, security processes, compliance to the ISO 21434, UNEC, CSMS, SUMS, and more. Thank you for watching. <laughs>